Hey everyone, this is RR Matrix welcoming you to episode 46 of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Mario, don't turn away from me. Last time we made it a fair ways, actually pretty much almost to the end of Nimbus Castle here. And I think this time we're going to finish it off. Who knows? Alright, so what does this sign say? Nimbus is, King Nimbus is resting in bed. Absolutely no running in the halls. Queen Valentina. Mario! Yes, Mado? This can only mean that my mom and dad are here. Really? I did not think of that. Wait a sec. It won't open. It's locked. All sad. Leave it to me. Oh, hey, Bowser. I see you to pipe up once in a while. Feast dries on the show of brains and brawn. Yeah, it takes a lot of brains to ram into a door. Mallow, don't stand in the way. And here we go. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. That tiny little puffball just stopped the King Koopa himself. That's crazy. Shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. Okay, let's just open the door quietly. Find Valentina to force the truth out of her. But what about the door? Oh, Bowser's so sad. <laughs> Listen, you never ever talk to the leader of the Koopa Troop like that. Oh, I hate that. I'll ignore it this time, but don't let it happen again. Okay, Bowser, whatever you say. Queen Valentina. No, <laughs> not the gay shy way. Or at least the shy way that it made sound gay. Praise the Lord. Queen Valentina. Okay, what was the purpose of that? That he's going to talk to Queen Valentina? I kind of already figured that, but... Alright, so this, this is locked too. Yep, sure enough. And oh my goodness, another tubba blubba Koopa Troopa out here. Let's take him down. Uh, let's take him down the exact same way. I'm just gonna totally destroy them. And since I've already shown this way... I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. Bada boom! Alright guys, I'm back now and I just completely I just realized that I completely forgot to equip the rare scarf on Peach like I was supposed to when she hatched the egg. So definitely do that. Now she should be able to stand up to much more, or at least a little bit more, than she could before. Alright, and oh cutscene ensues. Queen Valentina, that Mario creature who beats beat up the smile axis here. Mario? What does a Mario look like? Well, it has a bushy mustache, long sideburns, and a pair of mean looking legs. Hmm, I have a feeling I've seen this Mario before. Flashback. Oh dear. Peace! <laughs> the Mario statue did peace sign. <laughs> or I guess the victory sign. Wait. Yes! It was that statue that Garo just delivered! What, what, what? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna- Don't- Oh my god, Valentina! Dude, calm down. Calm your pants. Well, we certainly aren't going to listen to your pointless chatter. Frankly speaking, I'm not going to worry. Without his key, the king can't go anywhere. What? So are you saying you trap the king and he's just gonna, like, starve to death or go sick? Hey, Dodo is the only one that realizes we're in the room. Hush. Come on, listen to Dodo. I said, shut up already. He's not even talking. He's just pecking you. What the? That? That isn't a statue. That's Mario. Valentina, hand over the key. Meow. And Mal just charges in all dramatic. Oh. Way to ruin your dramatic entrance, Mal. Good freaking job. How utterly rude. And who in blazes are you anyways? Me? I'm the real prince. That's who. Yeah, you listen to him. Now dare you listen in on a private conversation. Private? Private? Everyone in a ten mile radius could hear you. Exactly. Ruff. This is how, how it's going. If you're going to be this rude, I'm simply going to leave. Nah, I got no complaints here. She, wait, no, she has the key. I have to get it. I shall fly the coop too. And Dodo's just like, yeah, I might as well. See ya. Alright, uh, I I think we kind of missed the boat here. Oh, you think? So, we better get a move on, too. Yep. Come on, let's get them! Alright, the final showdown against Valentina is imminent. Here we go. Mm. Gotta take a drink of Coke to ready myself right there. Yum, yum, Coke. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and save up here. Yeah. And we've got, like, one final stretch of hallway in this Nimbus Castle, I think. And I'm going to fight 
every single enemy in it. Not even kidding. I'm going to go for all the experience. So, first comes these two bluebirds. Okay, so those two bluebirds, or rather, eight bluebirds are down now. And Mario actually took quite a beating. You can see that there. Uh, the other two are fine. So, that's about it. And that's it for this hallway there. Alright, and there's even more bluebirds here. Alright, guys, I'm buzzing in really quick here to show that these bluebirds, they're weak as hell when they're not using their magic. Like, look at this. I won't even try to block this. One damage when I didn't even block. That's how weak these guys are physically. Oh, what did I do that for? Because the easy way I've been disposing of these guys is just to use the star egg repeatedly. So there you go. I just showed you two interesting things. There's that you can use the star egg to defeat these guys easily. They die in two hits from the star egg. And that when they attack you physically, you don't even have to worry about anything. If you block it, it'll usually do one or zero damage. So there you go. All right, I got to take out the rest of these guys. So hold on. Oh, look at this. Mario leveled up to 19 while I was fighting all these guys. So let's see. What will you get this time, my Mario man? Geez, only one more level. It's 20. That's crazy. I guess he's going to get an HP this time. All right, and I only got one more of these guys to fight, so here we go. Okay, now that that's done and over with, and Mal reaches level 19 as well. That's great. Okay, so now that that's done and over with, I Pretty sure this was the last hall before the end of the castle, and there's an upcoming boss fight. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal up a little bit here. Give that to you. Give that to you, Mario. I guess we'll just have Peach use therapy. Therapy on you. Yeah, isn't that always the way to get Mario healed? Just have Peach use therapy on him. Works every time. And we'll heal up our flowers too. And there you go. And it in this box is I could use a star all the time. I could use a star all the time. Oh my god, there's more. Crap, no! Oh, I wanted to take out Dodo with my star. I'm actually pretty sure you can do that too if you really want to. Okay, so this is the second battle against Dodo. This one's also optional if you can manage to hit him with your star, which I unfortunately didn't do. I wanted to show that. Oh well. So, yep, Dodo basically the exact same as last time we fought him. Still weak to fire and everything. So, just do what you can against them. Ow! I guess I shouldn't have healed before doing this, because now I'm just going to have to heal again afterwards. Alright, Ultra Flame, no, that's pretty much just Super Flame for multi-targeting purposes. Hit Y repeatedly! Go, 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 Mario! And 288, good job. multi trick. ow, 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 ow. Ow, that actually hurt a lot. I don't take kindly to your multi-strike, Dodo, my good chum. Chum bird, chum bird. Uh, ow, stop that. I said stop it. Alright, well, at least this isn't a good experience. Well, I, st I still would have gotten the experience had I hit him with the star, though, so. It was completely stupid that it and he does the exact same thing, looks at the camera and everything when he loses. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh, I'm not gonna fight that bluebird, I'm just gonna go ahead and re-heal, of course. Uh, especially Toadstool, you need to therapize yourself. And Mario. And we gotta use another FP restoring thingamabob. Not using any of those royal serves quite yet. I still haven't used a single Kira Kira Cola, have I? Might wanna do this in time! Oh, this was a bad idea. Rampar! Rampar! Oh. Oh, that was a total Wily e. Coyote moment. That's where the rare scarf was right there. And, oh, peace. How damn long can you fall? The hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there. And, don't you, and you don't look so royal, but I have a royal syrup. That must mean, oh, fine. Mal's a prince, you know. Just saying. All right, so now we're back here, and you want to head back up to Nimbus Land, of course, because where else would Valentina be? Queen Valentina. And they'll gather round and circle her. Trap her. Don't let her get away. Is the king showing any signs of improvement? And how's his wife, the old queen? And Tubby, er, Prince Mal, where is he hiding these days? Yeah, we just killed him. Or rather, defeated him. Get out of here, the truth is. Get out of here, the truth is. Know what I think, I think? Arrgh. Arrgh. On. Pipe down, all of you. I have better things to do than listen to your half-wood opinions. And look, while I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter, Mario's managed to find me. Yeah, and you better face me down now. 
Dodo, Dodo! Come on, Dodo's dead. Oh, that per bird has a permanent brain cramp. Do you hear me? Get over here now! I need some help entertaining Mario. So move it! Come here now. Yeah, yeah. Fight me yourself, you stupid bitch. You're just tiny. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not as tiny as I thought you were. How'd you grow so big? And where are we anyways? We're being forced in the sky all of a sudden. And here we go. Dodo is going to do something kind of interesting here. He's going to take your middle party member and fly away. And that's exactly why I switched Gino into the middle, so that he would face Dodo one-on-one -on -one here. Because this is much better than, than hit, like Peach facing him one-on-one, -on -one, because that is just pure balls. Right, I don't think you'd have to do too much damage to him here. Uh, if I remember. Actually, even Gino might take quite a beating here. Let's see, Flutter Hush. That won't do anything. Stupid bird. Annoying bird? I'm a great Leonk! And Flutter Hush again, okay. That works for me. Just keep on doing that, that's fine. Soon enough, you'll be dead anyways. Yep, there he goes. And Gino starts working his way through the forest, back to here. And this is actually kind of cool, because this battle that we're doing right here is going on at the exact same time as the one we just seemingly finished. So, he, so Gino, that's why Gino's not back yet, is that he's doing stuff. Alright, so, this is Valentina. And, see, since she's a boss, we're going to go over our, partic our usual boss protocol here. She has 2,000 hit points. Oh my god, that's a lot of hit points. Alright. And there, she has the abilities Petal Blast, Drain Beam, Solidify, Diamond Saw, Water Blast, Blizzard, Crystal, and Aurora Flash. So don't screw around with her. And she is resistant to Ice, Fear, Poison, Sleep, and Mute, and has no weaknesses. She can be tough. Make sure Toadstool is in your party so you can heal. That's the hint it gave on this page. So, yeah, those are some good tips there. And let's just go ahead and use the Star Egg on her, because that's the best thing Peach can probably do. Unless the lambs that works on her, which would be funny if it did. Sadly, it doesn't. And, oh my god, her boobs jiggle when you hit her. I forgot about that, that's funny. Okay. Um, Mario. Probably the best thing you could do would be a super... No, not super flame. Oh, at least, at least she's not resistant to that. I was going for a super jump, because you can probably do more damage with that than anything else. Alright. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, the only complaint I really have about the Star Egg is that it take, the animation takes so long. Other than that, it's a damn good attacking item. Oh, but I never get tired of seeing those little stars dance. So cute. Alright, and Mario used the super jump this time. Yeah, get it right. Is she holding martini in her hands? That's what it looks like. Or some kind of alcoholic beverage. Or maybe just some kind of beverage. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. I don't know. Why they would put that in a Mario game, I don't know. Is, does she have a tail? So many random things I never noticed about Valentina. It's kind of weird. Wow, your blizzard is weak sauce. Jeez, the birdies have so much more damage. They can do so much more damage with their blizzard than you. The bluebirds, I mean. Birdies don't have blizzard. Because that would be stupid. Only the blue ones that have matching color to the blizzard can have it. Alright. So, we're making a pretty good dent in Valentina here, I would say. We'd be doing a lot more if we had Gino with us to Gino boost. I don't know, if you feel confident in your abilities to take on Dodo with Peach, then be my guest. But, otherwise, then, I would just recommend having Gino in. Because, if you take him on with Peach, then, um, you'll have Gino here to do Gino boost and do more damage than Peach without having to sit through this long animation every time. So, there's upsides and downsides to keeping Gino as the third slot, or we're putting him in the middle. So, really, it's up to you, depending on how you play the game. Alright, and here's Dodo back. I don't think he's going to do much for us here. Um, get over here! Yeah, I don't think he's actually going to do much in this battle, if I remember. He doesn't really do too much. Can you still even target him? Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, I'm not going to. I really don't want to. Alright, so... Super jump her. Crazy. I hate how I never talk when I do the super jump. It's just I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, he does attack. Okay. Good to know. 
Hey, ow! Don't take on Gino like that. That's mean. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and Gino boost, or maybe Gino flash. Yeah, let's go ahead and Gino flash because we don't really need a Gino boost for anyone. Because Mario's attacking with magic, Peach is attacking with an item. The only one that could really benefit from it is Gino himself. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. But let's just see what this does. Oh, that's actually pretty awesome. All right, Peach. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a group hug. Why not? So we eat. And Mario, just do the same thing that you've been doing. This really isn't too hard of a boss unless you screw up your super jump like that. Oh, yeah, that actually worked on Mario that time, so now we can't use magic anymore with Mario. Now I is sad. Alright, so Gino, go ahead and use Gino Boost on... Actually, we're going to use it on Mario since he won't be able to use magic for a while. So this actually can benefit. I guess it can benefit everyone technically since it raises defense as well. If you get the action command. So, I don't know. So many variables to do in this game. Oh my goodness, almost well, over 15 minutes now. Whatever, this is a boss fight. We can. Ex it's a major boss fight, anyways. We can extend the time that I usually go up to. Alright, yeah, I see. Oh, I was trying to go for special there, and then just like a blank window comes up. Well, not even a blank window, just nothing comes up. It's kind of awesome. Okay, multi strike. Ow. Yeah, Aurora Flash. What does this do? Oh, yeah. It's a very calm-looking attack, really. Oh, I put them both to sleep. Are you serious? Well, Gino, it's all up to you now. Uh, oh, I don't have enough for Gino Flash. Well, let's just go with Gino Blast, I guess. Next best thing, right? Hold Y for power. I love Gino's action commands for these things. They're so simple. Just like, hold Y, hold Y. Yeah, that was actually pretty awesome. Come on. Don't solidify. Don't. You suck. Okay, you guys need to wake up around here. Gino can't do this all by himself. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Cure Cure Cola. The first one in the game, guys. Can you believe it? Crazy. Sadly, it doesn't wake them up, though. This will wake Mario up, at least, though. Thank you. And, yeah, hit Gino, whatever. Alright, so now we should have enough for another Geno Flash. So let's just do that then. Hold Y for power. My little star friends, help me. Help me defeat this evil bitch. Evil purple bitch. Alright. Uh, and Dodo, why won't you die? Like, I understand Valentina, she has like 2,000 HP, but you... Whoa, did we get her? I don't believe this. And Dodo is just gonna... The show's over, folks. Dodo, let's get out of here. Well, everyone, until we meet again, which you won't, unless you want to do some optional stint, which I will show off. <laughs> and there you go. That's Valentina for you. 200 coins. Wow. And 40 experience. All right. And Valentina just flies off into the sky, never to be seen again. Until later. Great. They're gone. Yeah, and they took the key with them, those... Douches. Gotta go after her, but where'd she go? Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> never mind. We got the key anyways. How fortunate. Hmm. Look. Do -do -do. We got the key. And we're just gonna wait her out here, and Mario takes it up. <laughs> Is that Peach's parachute or umbrella Mario? Yeah, you knew Ma Mallow would cry, and when Mallow cries, the whole sky cries along with him. How sad. And now Mal is done crying, and we can go in and see who his parents are. And as I presume, they look nothing like Frog Fuchsius. Okay. So, well, ah, this is a long cutscene. This is going to go to like a 20 minute episode, which sucks, but sometimes you just got to do it. Oh, sure. How can we ever thank you enough? I'm Mal's father, King Nimbus. And I'm fat. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for looking after my dear child. Well, I'm here to introduce everyone. Alright, we gotta go through the whole party now. This is Princess Toadstool from the Mushroom Kingdom. Ah, I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? Oh, dude, this is not the time. Don't embarrass Junior, dear. Oh, never mind. And who is this gentleman here? This is 
Super Mario! He helped me from the start. I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't mean THE Mario. Jumping Mario? Autograph, please! <laughs> That's quite enough, dear. Yeah, dude. Come on. We're here about your son, okay? Tiny hop will do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Way to do. Yeah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord! Way to do a tiny hop for Mario. That's higher than you've ever jumped in your life. Show me again later. <clears throat> and who do we have over here? This is Bowser, leader of the Koopa Troop. Right. Oh, another famous person. This is just too much. I must have your autograph. Dear, behave yourself, please. Listen to your wife, dude. The wife is always right. I'm not even married or in a relationship or anything, and I know that. Who do we have over here? This is Gino, who I told you about before. Very just. That story about the Star Street. How awful. That's Star Road. Yeah, you tell that asshole. By the way, a little before Valentina took over, a large star fell into the volcano. <gasps> dun dun dun. Hmm, but the dreaded Tsar dragon inhabits the volcano. It's going to be tough getting past him and getting a star out of there. Perhaps all of you working together could handle that beast. While I was young, I... Yeah, we don't have time to hear your stories, dude. We're up to 20 minutes in this episode. 20 and a half minutes. You be careful, Mallow. Okay, Mom. I'll only detach my top half from my bottom half, I, but I'll be careful. Okay. And that's it for this episode of Super Mario RPG. This went on for much longer than I had wanted to. But thank you, everyone, for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix. Wait, what am I doing here? What's this? Oh, that's a flower now. Okay, so there you go. That's an extra flower if you need it. So thank you, everyone, for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.